Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm your host Rob, aka Star Shadow. Continuing on with our Sam Marino challenge in FM21, which is to take the tiny microstate of Sam Marino all the way from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. And simultaneously take a club based in San Marino all the way to Champions League Glory, something we've done multiple times with a club called San Marino Calcio, or at least was called that. It went to Funk in 2019. Uh, we resurrected it in this save, in this universe, pumped a ton of money into it just to see if the challenge is even possible. Not the club side, which I think most people could do with some time, you know, maybe a lot of time. Um, but uh, in this case, it was to pimp out the youth intakes to see if the national team side was even possible because I think that's one of the things you need to do is have a good youth intake in order to do this challenge. And if you can't do it with what I have, which is a top rated youth intake, then I don't know if the challenge is possible. Uh, so we are definitely trying our best here with what we have. We are. Uh, on a very huge day today for a couple of reasons actually uh, number one is that as you can see here in the schedule uh, the scheduling is all screwed up in this save really badly so you see we have a World Cup qualifier which is a major international thing and also a Champions League match on the same day so you can imagine that um, yeah it's not good <laughs> so <sighs> Yeah, I don't know why the scheduling is so bad. Like, this would never, ever, ever, ever happen. Can you imagine UEFA and FIFA being like, oh yeah, we're going to schedule on the same day. Never. Too much money at stake. So the fact that this even is possible is terrible. But we're going to go through it. But this is the final day of World Cup qualifying. Um, if we take a quick look here. We are actually 67th in the world, so we're doing pretty good there. Qualification, we are second. Now, the thing about this right now is that because we are in second, we are in trouble. We are in ninth right now. We have a bunch of teams ahead of, uh, ahead of us uh, so that we have to jump. So uh, we, first up, we have to win this match. That's just period. And we have to, it looks like, okay, so we have Germany and Switzerland ahead of us who can jump further so we have to assume that they're going to win especially Germany I think Germany oh wait in Poland I think they all play crap teams I should do it the other way Czech Republic so Switzerland is not a shoe in I should do it this way all stages um Germany oh, I gotta I gotta do this way because I Germany is playing Iceland. That's going to be a win. We have to assume they're going to win. Uh, and the other one was what? Poland. Poland. Why am I? Why did I do this? I need to do this. Where is Poland? They're in second place. We know. But which second place team? I'm trying to do this. They're, they're, Poland is playing. They're done. Oh, wait. Poland's done. Wait, they're on eight? No. Okay, no, Poland is on eight. Okay, so we got over Switzerland and Germany we have to worry about. All right, so getting us to 16 points with uh, Germany and Switzerland would not be enough. Uh, or let's see if... All right, so Switzerland is qualified. Germany will qualify on 16... Uh, Turkey has a goal differential of five. We would jump them at least. So it might be enough just to win. So Germany wins. They're going to go up Switzerland. So Turkey drops Germany. Okay. No, we had to pass. No, we got to pass one more team then. That looks like, uh, or, or Switzerland or Germany have to drop points. Uh, so to 100% qualify, we would have to jump France. Is what we're what we're seeing here. France has a goal differential of 16. Uh, so we would need to win by six. What's the rules? Goal scored. 
so if we win by six, we would have uh, 25. That would be enough. So if we win by six or more, that's enough. Uh, Switzerland or Germany only take a point. That would be enough. Oh no, their, their goal differentials are huge. No, they would have to lose. One of them would have to lose, and we would have to win by six. I, if they, no, yeah, if they drew, and we win by six, that'd be enough. Or win by Germany drew, and we won by three, we would be through. And five if Switzerland drew. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to go out there and score a bunch of goals, or our group. Uh, what's the group I mean? I, J, H, J. Or, in the final day, the Netherlands and Austria are playing. So this is not a gimme for for the Dutch. If we come out and win, which we're going to do, and the Netherlands lose, uh, we would go top of the group and qualify. Uh, which Austria would want to do. Austria wants to go for a win because they don't know if that we're going to win because if they were to win and we lost, they would go. Actually, they probably wouldn't. They would be in second place. They wouldn't go. So Austria is screwed, so they may not show up at all. So we have to assume that the Netherlands is going to get at least a point to make it. But if the Netherlands lose for some reason uh, and we win, we go through uh, as the top. We're automatically qualified. Can't assume that. We have to assume that uh, we're going to go... Uh, we're gonna be second place on 16. We gotta score six goals to make sure that we make it. Otherwise, we have to hope for results. All right, so that is our predicament here. We have our first choice, first choice team. Uh, but if we gotta score six goals, I might have to make a change here. We might have to go go attacking just from the just from the start. That's something I. Don't really want to do, but uh, I think we're gonna do that though. So, but that's our situation. We have to score. We have to score a lot. We're at home against Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, it's not very good. We beat them five nothing away. So we can score a lot on them. We just have to. We just have to do it. All right. So team selection. Here's the deal. Normally five three two team. For our next match, we're not playing the 5 3 2. We're going to go to our 4 2 3 1. All right, I want to make sure about this. Okay, so. All right, so Colonucci. Already can't do that. Tomei can't do that. Uh, so we'll play a third striker. Is what we're gonna do? Uh, Giacomo Berardi is who I would normally play here. Uh, so he is out injured. So what we're doing here is going with our. This is our attacking formation for when we need goals. Uh, but we are going to do that real early here. You're actually going to go box to box and you're going to play Deep Liar as a DLP. Uh, do we go Giddy or do I bring in Ugolini to <laughs> go really offensive? That's the question. I mean, you're not really that competent playing defense either. I mean, what's your mentals though? I mean, you're be definitely better mentally than Ugolini, who is just all offense all, all the time. Okay, we're gonna start Giddy. And if 
we need more offense, uh, Ugolini. Uh, so we got three forwards. <laughs> we're going, we're going on the attack here. We, we're gonna start off on positive, actually. We're gonna start off with the counter press. Yeah, we are definitely going for. Oh, he's not. He, oh, he's. Oh, neither one of these guys can actually play that position. This is the sad thing. Giddy is actually. Yeah, I can kind of play that. Ugolini cannot play that though. He is a pure wing mech. So I couldn't do that anyway. So we have to go Giddy, I guess. I don't have anyone else that can actually play that. Now that I'm thinking about it. So it's got to be Giddy. Unless I push up, then it would be Ugolini pushing up. And but this is how we're. This is how we're gonna start. This is the way we have to start, because there's just no choice right now. Dual Nucci is our... Uh, is our forward. Ronald's could play as a winger. Carboni is our finisher. Hopefully he can get some positions. We have to do this. We have to do this. This is why we didn't play a match uh, before in our off... Uh, off match day. Could have had a uh, could have played a, a, a friendly, but a we had a Champions League match, and b I wanted to make sure everyone was fresh and ready to go for this. No, and then had to worry about yellow cards or anything. So uh, we're ready to go as good as we can. Rosito is really, really not match fit for this, but oh well. So we'll. We'll have all the subs that we have that can go, and we'll do what we gotta do. Ramos can't play that position either, can he? I were to push him for the back. Nope. Okay. All right. Six goals is what we need. And have you even played out of position? Too bad, man. Someone's got to play out of position. That's going to be you. They're playing a 4 2 3 1 as well. And this is the Champions League matchup. Because we're going to have to play right afterwards. Um, actually, Mesa's back. Uh, we have one big entry here in Glenn McKenzie, who uh, broke a leg. He is one of our very good complete forwards. You can see very sad um but we did bring in a 17 year old wonder kid named christian misor or misor i guess uh from belgium <laughs> he's got two gaps now because he's been playing with us so he yeah we weren't planning on bringing him in yet but i was like uh well mckenzie went down we need another forward i didn't have one that i was like ready to play with he eventually be a complete forward but um but these physical physicals but um, right now yeah he's still trying to fit in but man that potential very 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 excited there but it's not not expensive either it's like 35 million 35 million dollars is nothing especially for one kid who's already at 17 ready to to join us all right uh should be good there So yeah, right after this match, uh, we should be going straight. Right, right after the international match, we'll be going straight into this. So there won't be much of a natural after this. So let's keep that in mind. The Champions League match at, uh, is at 8. So it's 7.30. It's this match at first. Oh, they're playing 4-4-2, so... They're not playing against us here. Okay, either footed. Oh, what am I doing here? Left only. Left, left. E oh, he's either footed. Oh, what am I doing? Just right. Left. And right. Break your butt. Uh, then definitely you two got to get pressed. Press and just press these guys too. Okay, we can do that. Need to press you. Uh, I mean, you're not particularly good. Oh my god, you're not good at all. 
uh by lean off are they throwing are they throwing i mean i mean maybe maybe they're throwing maybe they're throwing because this this is not oh god this is not a good team this is, they may have set up for us to just whip the heck out of them although this is their best player and the keeper is not good okay oh, this is a, we have a chance I mean I mean I expected this pile on the misery dad did not All right, I need to expect some performances out of anyone who is any good on this team. And guys are a little weak mentally, so we give you that. This is it, guys. This is what we've been working for. Carboni has been in fine goal scoring for him late. How important will he be here today? Uh, we hope he does it, and he, I know he expects it, so he's got to do it because we need it. Rusty is set to make his 75th appearance for San Marino. Just how much does he mean to this team and to the supporters? Uh, good, wonderful player. Find an example of what we want. He is a very good player. Not quite to the level of the senior team, which is, you know, basically world-class players only, but still a very good player at a top four league level. Uh, potentially Champions League level player as well. I mean, he's very good, very good player. Uh, I might have checked the tempo. I didn't check that beforehand. Okay, let's start off right here, right here. No, 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 no. Good block, but come on. Well, why are we having to do anything defensively here? The fact that we have to do anything defen defensively right now is not good. Nice. Going to G. Rust. Okay. Come on. So some freaking composure, y'all. Now they're countering all over us. That's uh, pretty calm. That's not calm at all. Oh my god, come on. What is this defense? Nice. Turn around, Jared. Yes, go. Go. Run. Run. All by yourself. Oh my god. Keeper making a winner save here. Keeper who is not good enough to play. In the second division, probably gonna stand on his head because game absolutely hates us. It's a team we should easily put 10 by. The team they put out there is one that we should put 10 by. They are not good. Oh, yes, there's one. That was a bomb. Okay, see, the keeper sucks. We may need to. Go to what happened here? Bruise ribs, you're fine. You live through it. May have to take you off in the second half, but you're you're good right now. Okay, bad mistake. Yes, that's two. See, it's fine. We can take you off. You're the finisher. That's two thus far. We are currently in first because Austria is a uh, holding. Ramos didn't do anything. He's not really used to that, but I mean, he should be now. Now that you're playing at Dortmund, Dortmund plays him up there, up here. So it shouldn't be unfamiliar anymore. 
Cross to no one, okay. We want to get three or four in the first half at least. Four would be best. Three nothing, four nothing going into half would be good. Take a little bit of the pressure off. Hold back, fouled. No call. What? No call. Better be a yellow card. Good ball. Carboni. Yes, that's three. Yes. Great job. Great changes so far by the manager. Austria up one nothing. That's helping us out too. Use of Demir in the eighth minute. Rosti. Yes, that's four. Yes. Yes. Remember, we're doing this because we have to jump teams ahead of us on goal differential. It's not because we're trying to embarrass Kazakhstan. It's because we have to do this in order to get to the World Cup. We have to score goals. We have to put a bunch by in order to assure ourselves a World Cup berth. The only way we can do that is winning this match by six goals. It's the only way we can uh, be 100% sure that we're going to make it. Otherwise, we have to worry about results, and, and we do not want to have to worry about results. We want this, take care of this, put this in our own hands. We don't want to rely on any results from anywhere else. We don't want to be nervous and worried about it. We'd only think take care of our own business because we have that much in our hands. I mean, we're lucky that we're we have a very very low ranked team who decided to not play very good players uh, here. So set sets up about as well as it can for us to get through. Okay, we're on, okay. That was not what we wanted, Ramos. Right on the run. Just glad we haven't had to go full attack and to be a little more nervous about our defense. Oh, that was a weak ball. I don't know how that even came close to getting through. Okay, come on. Still, we got, still got to play defense. We've seen worse teams score on us. Worse players. Still have to take care of business here. Four. We, that's only four. We need two more. Scotty. <sighs> we can get another one, that'd be great, because we gotta then Yes, we gotta not have that complacency. It's five. One more. One more, and that will assure us we'll cut birth as long as we don't give up anything. Sure, they were not expecting this since we never start off in this formation. We don't normally start off counter pressing right away, but players are working very hard here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's keep going though. Let's keep going though. If we can get another one or two, that'd be good before we shut it down and we go to our normal formation. And just kind of shut it down. That's the thought process now. We don't want to. We don't want to shut it up too soon. We can. We can put another one or two past. 
then we'll take it and have that little extra wiggle room. Uh, Champions League, International, Cup Qualifiers. Let's see what we got going on in the rest of the world here. Czech Republic beating Switzerland, though. That's also good for us. Germany, Iceland, nil nil. That would also be good for us. Austria, Netherlands, one nothing. Uh, I think I was Ireland. Ireland and Germany were tied on points, so one of those two teams would have to do something. Ireland's winning, so they're top. Germany, nil nil. Here, so, so that one it looks like it's going either way, because I think Germany's still going to win this match. Uh, this is a huge surprise that's helping us out. Um, so yeah, those are the only two matches then, I think. Switzerland and then Germany, Ireland, because whoever uh, finishes worst there would be in second place. They were tied uh, with goal differential. I mean, Ireland was, was the top. Okay. So right now it's looking really good. We're getting some help, but like I said, um, we got to put it in our own hands here and make sure that we do what we can to uh, not have to worry about anything else. Don't have to result watch anywhere else. We have the goals we need. Uh, we're going to tell them not to get complacent because we need more. I'm going to play, continue this a little bit more. See if we can get another one, maybe two, at least we'll go at least 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll start looking to make changes. We'll probably bring Carboni will come off and we will, uh, then once we take Carboni off, we'll probably we'll drop into our, our normal formation that we're, we're used to. I want. I would like us to get another one or two in the 10-15 minutes before I do a switch. Basically playing very defensive, except the two forwards that are uh, keeping in our center backs occupied. Kitty doing a good job being a third man. Back there though. Kind of moving up now though. Okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna slide in Carboni. No, I need that. Did not need that. All right. Good, good, good recovery. Good ball. Send her in. Ugh. What are you doing? <laughs> Why did Rubble just watch that? That's tough. That's a tough place to score on a header. Oh, you got hurt then too a little bit? Uh, that's not good. Might be just a knock though. Dice! Ramos! Yes sir! Let's see insurance on insurance. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to pull Loi then. Ooh, stepped up there. Okay, uh. I'm trying to think whether there's some backs I got. 
to the birthday is here. I want to go three again. Ugh, yes. Right, Chachi to the birthday. Chili bit yeah, chili birthday. Or D are the two that we have. I want to switch back. It's going to be nothing but right flutters, like right only flutters, which is going to be definitely something. I think this is a good time. We're gonna have to make the switch here. A giddy into the middle. Cover, we will play. Who? Scotty's gonna be there. Uh, Scotty plays that middle. Okay, well, this is gonna be something that's gonna be a little bit interesting. Okay, completely back now. Ochi. Charity. All right, now we'll drop you here. Here, you here, okay. Uh, you are now gonna be our deep liar, gonna sit. Actually, you don't need to sit, you can be support. Uh, Carboni, Charity, we'll bring on Tome. Charity's gonna be going forward. Tome is gonna be our box box. And this is more normal. Still counter press, I think. Let's see how that goes. Let's still play positive. We're just gonna change the formation to something to hopefully tighten things up at the back. And give us an opportunity to Oh, we made our, this would be our three changes. Oh, all three of them already? Yep. So now our job is to present a uh, credible threat forward while being tight at the back. Why is that the first thing you... gotta be kidding me right now this is why I wanted insurance goals doesn't mean anything yet there we go okay we restore parity or not parity, but balance. Balance, so bring balance back to the force. I did say at the beginning of this game, this is a team we should put 10 past, so. Glad to see that's working. Look at the break, holy. Good job getting back, though. I'm not liking that. Group. Turn the counter press off then. Try to be war solid. War stable on the back. Good composure. Not so good composure. Are you kidding me? They've just injured one of my guys. They're out here five footing guys and no call. This is terrible. This is awful. These referees are not helping us at all. What is this? Is this referee even? Is, is there a referee here? Are you kidding me?
right now we gotta try and play with the ball a little bit because referee is turning a blind eye so we don't have any subs I used them maybe I should have waited just continue with what we were doing Play with the ball. Enjoy the ball. <sighs> Gotta enjoy the ball here a little bit. Gotta enjoy the ball right now. This is this is where we need to go prime Barcelona and enjoy the ball. Enjoy the ball. Be the ball. Be the ball. Be the defense and be the ball. There you go. Now go run it down. Outside. Very interesting. Come on, y'all. Enjoy the ball. Enjoy the ball. Yep. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Okay, that's not enjoying the ball. That is being very careless with the ball. This is about enjoying the ball right now. Enjoy the ball. There we go. Enjoy the ball. There we go. Now we're enjoying the ball. That's not enjoying the ball. That's a terrible pass. What the hell? What is this guy who has no talent whatsoever is turning into prime Cristiano Ronaldo? The better ball. That's a better ball. That's a better ball. After that terrible pass, it almost turned into a goal on our end. Better ball. Oh boy. Wonder kid. What would like to see? Like to see our wonder. Gianni with five goals could. One more opportunity for them. Oh, what a save, actually. <sighs> we did it, y'all. We did it. That should be enough to get us through in the World Cup qualifiers. Let's check some of the other scores. That, that doesn't matter. Uh, this does matter. Oh, we go through top of the group too. So we are definitely 100% qualified with Austria beating the Netherlands. Uh, we go through on uh, top of the group and uh, goal differential. Uh, so, and then Germany, Iceland tied that in to Czech Republic beat Switzerland. We definitely we're through. We're through. We're 100% through. We are going to the World Cup, y'all. We are going to the World Cup. San Marino, World Cup found. Yes, we've done it. We did it. One of the things I said at the beginning of the cycle is I think we could make it. I think we could qualify. And we've done it. We've made it come true. Our San Marino's first ever World Cup coming up. Oh. Whew. Glad we took it out, uh, out of everyone else's hands, though, and made sure that we did it on our own merits. Sorry, Kazakhstan. Apologies for having to do this to you to make sure that we made it. But... Um, I'm sure you guys understood. I mean, it's why you played that team that you did. Oh, yes. Definitely needed that. That is huge. Big round of applause here for the players here. That was wonderful. Proud. We 
got what we wanted tonight. A thoroughly professional job. Great job. And with that, we're going to be over to our Champions League match. Um, doesn't really matter, I think, at this point. Where are we? We're qualified already. Uh, yeah, so this match doesn't really matter, but whether we go through first or second is going to matter. So if we win this match, we'll go through top. Um, so I guess it matters from that angle, but um, we're going to go out there and try to win this match and go through first. Because that's what we do. So, actually, if I go this way, can I actually check and make sure? Let's do it. Uh, look up qualification. Oh, it doesn't go through until afterwards. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. All right, anyway, that is going to do it. We are through 100%. Uh, I would have liked to have shown it here, but I got this match coming up, so I don't want to, don't really want to bother with it. Um, because, yeah, it's bad enough. So, anyway, that is going to do it. You know what? I'll come back after the match and when we get the official notification and we will look at that and celebrate then. So, I will definitely see you then. All right, so we're back after the Champions League match, uh, which we drew. Uh, we're going to get the news for San Marino first. So we'll go through that uh, for our ending here. So uh, the C team. Okay, so Jill birthday, we twisted an ankle. That's what he went out for. Uh, how long is he out? Three to five weeks. Ouch, that sucks. But the jury's happy he did his job. Ooh, so there's a 10 to 1 win. Uh, their Kazakhstani coach is not happy. The assistant coach went out there. Carboni got injured. Heavy challenge because our referees are not helping, but one to three days is not too bad. So here's our confirmation San Marino. San Marino celebrate first World Cup qualified. It's the first ever time that San Marino have ever qualified for the competition. And we topped the group with 16 points, finishing ahead of the, uh, the Netherlands. So that is quite the accomplishment for us. Uh, I wanted to see, let's do it this way. All right, so here's the final standings of Group J. We ended up going through on uh, top of the group on goal differential. Uh, Netherlands qualify in second place. Oh, and as the last second place team. Wow. Uh, wanted to see what where we are. Okay, so San Marino goal differential 19. So let's take a look at that. Oh, uh, that actually we would have got through anyway too. Uh, even if uh, none of them had won, because our goal differential was 16, uh, what got us up to here? 17 to France, right? Our goal differential of 19. We have a goal differential of 19. So yeah, we would have uh, finished in fourth uh, in second place. So yeah, we made it through just barely. Netherlands squeaks in just barely. Heartbreak for Turkey and Switzerland. Swiss were in excellent position, couldn't get it done. Turkey misses out on goal differential. Um, but yeah, Israel has made it to a World Cup. Wow, finishing top of that group. Wow. Ukraine finishing top of a group with France. Wow. Both make it though. Wow. Croatia and Wales. That makes sense out of that group. Oh, well, Wales has been a pretty good team. They have Chris Wakeham, who's been very good. Uh, England qualifies, as you would expect. Switzerland choked after that tough match, uh, tough results against uh, Czechia. Uh, so, kind of disappointed that neither one of those teams made the World Cup. Uh, Italy makes it, and Poland does not. That's kind of a surprise. Um, Portugal and Denmark. Ireland and Germany. Ireland finishes the top of that group and very interesting. Spain and Russia. Wow, Sweden did not make it. 
Belgium, that makes sense. Uh, Turkey, as I said, very close. Could not do it though. I see out on goal differential, it has to suck. And then us and the Netherlands, so uh, no like huge teams in Europe as a surprise miss. I mean, there are some teams you might expect to make it, you know, like a, a Serbia or a, maybe a Norway or a Scotland or S Switzerland. What was Switzerland sitting at? 26? That's kind of kind of rough for them. Uh, but yeah. Whew. We did it. We made it. So I can't believe Israel made it too. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sam Marinese Federation is delighted that we qualified from the group stage. And so we they expect us to meet their expectations, whatever those will be. Uh, we're delighted. And feel just side in selections he's been making. Players, yep. And talking about some other players that might be there. World ranking, we're at 67. Uh, I wonder if we'll go up a little bit after this. Carboni got injured as well. We saw that. Gilberto, we saw that one already. Carboni, two goals to assist. Very good. Uh, Mattia Berardi is reserved after a 10-1 win. It's good. I hope so. But we needed that. Uh, star in World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, convincing. Source close to the San Marino camp. Will support viable that the victory was another fantastic moment following a World Cup qualification campaign which had exceeded all expectations. Uh, the, the squad is very happy. That what you would expect. And Carboni, of course, two goals to assist. Uh, if we look at our competition, that's what we need, the one we didn't look at. No, that's not the one we're going to look at. Oh, I gotta look at it this way. That's why. I gotta look at the national team and at the club side. That's the club side. You can see what we've done. Performance at work. B plus. Qualifying for the World Cup is a B plus. They're very pleased, but they're not somehow absolutely rapturous that we made the World Cup. I don't, I don't understand. I, I this should tell you everything you know about international management, and that we've San Marino, San Marino has made their first ever World Cup, have made it into Nations League A, and the Federation is like, yeah, you're doing all right. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I really, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, the, we got a press conference, then let's do it. And we'll end it. You managed to guide San Marino into a first ever World Cup. Congratulations, you must be delighted. Uh, yeah, this is something we targeted way back at the start, and we were trying to make it happen. It's a very nice moment. Uh, that was Matteo Rosti's 75th cap for San Marino. Just how much of an impact has he had on soccer in this country? Uh, yeah, you can safely add him to a list of legends. I think. I think that's, that's fair. Substituting Dario Caboni when he was on a heart, on a hat trick raised some eyebrows today. He can't have been pleased with that decision, can he? He was injured, that's why we took him off. But that's not one of the choices for some reason. No, no game context to that, but that's why he got taken off. Yeah, he's nursing an injury. But, um, it's confident the game was won, that kind of thing. Uh, how, just how good was Carboni today? He's a great player and I'm really happy for him. Are we likely to see more of uh, Federico Guidi playing as left back? Uh, we'll take it a game by blood game. Flexibility gives us options, even though he's not an automatic choice on the team. Um, it's kind of been passed by, so, uh,. He's kind of got forced in because uh, Giacomo Berardi was not available for us. Always he would have been playing that position. So he uh, should be happy that he helped uh, San Marino get to the World Cup because he's probably not going to that, to the World Cup. Uh, for some reason, oh, the Kazakhstan Soccer Pro, the, the Kazakh Soccer Express paper, uh, Igor Kalinin does not like us. Probably because we just whooped the heck out of his team. I don't blame him. So we did it. Thumbs up to us. It's a big achievement for us. And a very welcome one. Um, 
as we're going to work through that World Cup and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure how much further we can, we'll actually take to save uh, with FM23 on the horizon. Not yet, but coming. Um, we we'll definitely have time to get through the World Cup. Then uh, we'll see uh, how much further we take it afterwards. I, there's some stuff I'm thinking about doing for FM23 with FM23 uh, as well. So we might do some, start doing something different. Uh, but uh, this has been great. Uh, one thing I do miss is not having the editor to be able to do uh, some of the stuff to like maybe fix the scheduling stuff and and everything. But um, yeah, we'll definitely be trying some some new stuff with San Marino uh, and FM23. So uh, that's something to look forward to. But that's months uh, still ahead from when this is being taped. You probably won't see this until closer to uh, release time. But this is uh, middle of September right now where I'm recording this. Uh, so we should have no problems getting through to the World Cup. And uh, we'll see if that's the last hurrah or not. Uh, we'll kind of see how things go. But definitely going to go through that. And that's going to be big for us. So uh, thank you all for hanging out and watching. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, thank you for hanging out and watching and supporting. Show yourself, of course, hit that follow button. Hit, uh, hit that like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good stuff here on YouTube. I'm confusing myself here, but uh, yeah, all the excitement here. So like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good stuff on these videos. Really, really appreciate it. Shout out to all the subscribers already. Much love to all of you. And there's links in the description to the Twitch and the Twitter. Uh, if you want to come hang out a little bit, we do a little bit of streaming. Uh, a few nights a week for like an hour or so, depending on the weekends. We kind of do a couple more. I used to get to a couple like a longer stream and maybe another one some of my friends. So I definitely come hang out if you'd like there. Of course, it's nighttime, uh, Eastern Standard Time when I do that. So uh, it's not the best for people, but uh, if you'd like to, then definitely come hang out. Um, that will do it here. Congratulations to us uh, as we have qualified. I'm looking forward to that I hope you all are too um yeah so we all are doing well out there stay well stay safe stay good stay healthy out there i will see all of y'all next time <laughs>